Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my December wrap up. So it's crazy to think that December is already over and it was a pretty decent reading month. I unfortunately did not achieve my goal of reading 100 books this year. I came very very close. I read 93 total but that's okay. It's completely fine. I was very happy with the good majority of the books I read this month. I managed to read nine books so I'm going to jump right in and get started. So the first book I read this month was Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. This is a very classic and well-known thriller. This, the newest movie adaptation just came out I believe in November and I decided why not pick this up and I enjoyed it for the most part. It was a little slow to get to the actual murder mystery that was going on which I like to dive right into the action when it comes to thrillers. That kind of bugged me. I wasn't a huge fan of all the characters, but overall I did really enjoy the story, so I gave that a 3 out of 5 stars. The next book I read this month is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J Ron, Tiffany and Jack Thorne. This is the 8th Harry Potter book. This is a play script to the play that is going to be on Broadway coming this September, I want to say. And I really liked this book. I was pleasantly surprised about how much I liked this. It was pretty good and I do have a full spoiler, spoilery review up on my channel so I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested in checking this out but I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I read this month was called Trivial and it's by Allie Lithgow. This is a non-fiction kind of self-help book and it's coming from the author's own experiences with dealing with depression and suicide. And I got the sent for review by the author, so thank you so much to the author for sending me this. And I enjoyed it. It was very interesting as somebody who has struggled with depression in the past. I found it very informative to see that I wasn't alone with my own personal experiences, so I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I got was actually an arc. It's actually a partial arc, and I got this from NetGalley, so thank you so much to the people over at NetGalley for sending me this. And that was Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. This was a partial arc. Like I said, this comes out in March. This is a YA fantasy novel that follows our main character who whips in a world where the king has kind of banned magic and he is trying, starting to kill off all the people who are able to use magic. And our main character's mother has been killed and she teams up with a rogue princess to kind of st stop the king. Like I said, I only got the first like six chapters of it, but I'm going to be picking up the full copy when it comes out in March because I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I loved it. The next book I read was like one of my most disappointing reads ever, and that is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. This is an adult fantasy novel that follows a traveling circus that is only coming at night. And it follows two young magicians who are in love, but they're against, competing against each other behind the scenes of the circus. I talked about this in a couple of my vlogs, so if you guys are interested to check that out, I will link a playlist to all my vlogs down below. I started off really liking this book for like the first 50 or so pages. I was really liking it. I liked the two characters we were following, which were the two young magicians that were competing against each other, but fell in love. And then it all went downhill for me. We have like seven different perspectives in this book and it was so hard to keep up with all the plot lines that was going on and I found myself get, becoming extremely, extremely bored and there was, like I said, the romance in here felt a little bit insta-lovey. So I originally gave this two stars but after thinking about it for about a week I deducted it down to a one star. Just was not for me. <laughs> the next book I read was another arc I got from Herbert Collins and that is Zenith the Andromeda Saga by Sasha Osberg and Lindsay Cummings. This is the first book in their duology. Sasha and Lindsay are both booktubers. Sasha is over at a book utopia and Lindsay is over at her channel Lindsay Cummings and I, <laughs> Sasha was the very first booktuber I ever discovered back in late 2014 early 2015 and when she announced that her and Lindsay were coming out with this book, I was like, I need the ARC. Just give me the ARC. And I was so excited when HarperCollins sent me an electronic copy of this book. And oh my god, I loved it. It blew me away. This wasn't the most original storyline. I'll be completely honest. It 
is a YA science fiction novel that involves our main character Andromeda who and her group of pirate best friends and they travel across the galaxy and they're on different missions and one day they have to team up with Andromeda's former friend and former lover to save the main general's son who has been kidnapped. It's very engaging. I really, really enjoyed it. I gave it five stars. It comes out on January 16th and I cannot wait to read it again once it comes out. Is the Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. This was on my top 10 books I want to read in 2017 video. I'll link that video down below. And this is a YA historical fiction novel. It's very beloved here on booktube and it follows our main character Liesl who is living in Nazi Germany during World War II and she has been orphaned but her mother has abandoned her. She goes to live with a foster family and it's kind of her experiences. She ends up stealing books, hence the name The Book Thief, and you know her foster family actually takes in a Jewish man and they have to keep him secret. It is well worth the hype. I will be completely honest. I really really enjoyed this book. I was very pleasantly surprised uh, how much I enjoyed it. I gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I would highly recommend you guys pick this up if you have not already. So the next book I read this month I actually listened to on audio and that is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. Yes, I have finally dived back into the world of the Shadowhunters. You guys know my feelings on the Immortal Instruments in general and then I did really like the Infernal Devices but the Immortal Instruments, that's a whole nother story. I'll talk about that in a future video, but I took a break from the Mortal Instruments after I read City of Lost Souls because the Bane Chronicles was the next book in chrono not chronological or publication order that we need to read before I get to City of Heavenly Fire. And Magnus Bane, who is the main character of this collection of short stories, is my favorite character in the Shadowhunter world in general. So having a whole entire series of novellas dedicated to him was like, yes. And it was it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. He made me laugh out loud so many times. Magnus Bane is bisexual, so we see his relationship with both males and females throughout his entire life pretty much. I really liked it. I gave it four out of five stars. And the last book I read this month was The Truth About Love Volume 1, and this is by Anna Bloom. This is another book I got sent to for review by the author, so thank you so much to the author for sending me this. And this is a new adult contemporary novel that follows our main character, Eve, who is kind of got her whole life set up. She is going to a very prestigious university. She is getting her degree in teaching. She knows exactly what she wants to do. She meets this boy named Cameron, who is the son of a very wealthy merchant, and they form a relationship, and it's a very short novella kind of situation. It's good. It's, again, new adult, so it's a very insta lovey romance. And I'm not a huge new adult fan. The most of the new adult I've read in the past has been fantasy. So this is really my first time diving into new adult contemporary. And I liked it. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. It's kind of exactly what I expected going into this book. It wasn't personally for me, but I am going to continue on with the series because the book is very, very short. It was only 120 pages on my Kindle, but... In I don't know if it's in physical format, but it says 124 pages on Goodreads, so it's very, very short. It's easy to get through. I flew it through it in one sitting, so I would recommend you guys pick that up. And that is all I'm going to have for that this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I wish you have all my social media links linked down below if you guys are following me on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, or my blog. Again, those are always linked down below. And all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.